guys, time for fun fact. Do you know that in the north of Chile, there is this huge desert called Atacama. Now when I was exploring this desert, there was a place, there was a lake and uh, what I saw was that a lot of people jumped in it and they didn't move any part of their body but still none of them sunk. Do you know why? Because this water was so salty, so salty, it had around 20% or 20-25% of salt in it. With such a dense water, nothing can sink in it. Even I jumped into it and I was relaxing without you know moving any of my body parts and I was like whoa this is a super cool feeling you also see this kind of a feeling in uh, the Dead Sea yeah so do explore uh, this floating uh, lake in San Pedro de Atacama in the north of Chile I hope you like the fun fact stay tuned hello beautiful people welcome to the class today we're going to take a look at present tense for verbs ending with IR in the previous two sessions, we have seen the same for uh, verbs ending with AR and verbs ending with ER, right? It's pretty much the same with a slight difference here and there. But I repeat that the entire set of verbs in Spanish can be categorized into three types. The verbs ending with AR, the verbs ending with ER and the verbs ending with IR, right? And in this case, we will see the present tense uh, conjugation for verbs ending with IR. One more thing, as I've said earlier that this session is for the verbs which are regular. Now what are regular verbs? Regular verbs are those verbs which have a standard approach of getting conjugated and which do not have exceptions to this approach or this rule, right? So let us take a look. The example that we're going to see today is the verb vivir which means to live. Now what is the rule? The rule is that you just have to replace the last part IR with this set of syllables for these first person, second person, third person, singular plural, which you are very familiar with now. Yeah, so let us do it. Let us replace IR with these syllables and let us see how the result is. And the coloring has been done intuitively. So you will see that the wave, which is the starting part of Vivir, stays as it is in all the cases. And you just add the syllable. So it becomes Vivo. Vives, vive, vivimos, vivis, vivin. Yeah, we just added o, s, a, imos, is, and ain at the end of the common part, which is vivir. Now this result, it what it means in English is you have here. It's very simple. You just said, I live, you live. He or she lives, we live, you guys live, and they live. So you see, that's the beautiful effect uh, of conjugation. You just modified one root verb by replacing the end part of that verb with these syllables. And you made a result, which means that different people are, are living. In this case, six of them, right? And this holds true for all the verbs which end with IR and are regular in nature. So that's the beauty of this chapter. I really hope you learned and enjoy this and you're going to reuse it for all the verbs which are regular. If you wish to continue learning for, uh, from me in future, please subscribe to my channel. Until next session, happy learning. Take care. Goodbye.